Greetings from Brisbane, Australia. I'm Natalie Kent from Sacred Business. And this video is all about light beings versus light workers. What on earth does that mean? For the last few months, I've been running several events in person with different groups in different locations. And one thing that has stood out to me over and over again is that there are light beings, people who hold the light, who have high frequency energy in their energy fields, who are not doing the work. <laughs> and these beings who are here to actually elevate and transform and anchor more light on this planet are the key to the future on this planet. This is not the time to be going back to sleep. This is not the time to be resting on your laurels, uh, having a holiday, uh, not really doing what you came here to do. And I had to do this video because I keep seeing this thing, this pattern, this um, occurrence over and over and over. And of course, I've been looking at myself going, where am I not being a light worker? Where am I being a light being that's not doing the work? So what does doing the work mean? What is a light worker? So there are plenty of light beings actually in this world right now and there's certainly more coming, being incarnated here from other dimensions, other planets who hold this high frequency energy. But that is not enough to just hold the energy. You can't hold the energy if you are giving up yourself and your light to the density of this planet. And I read somewhere... Um, just this morning that uh, I think it was Dolores Cannon in her uh, report or her awareness of global energies and what's actually occurring on planet Earth right now, she says that Earth is actually considered one of the densest planets to live on in this whole universe. <laughs> so there you go. How's that for um, putting it in perspective? This is what we're living in right now. So if you are a light being who's come from another planet, another higher dimension, dimensional planet in existence, and you've come here to Earth, the first thing you'll do is you'll forget. I mean, we all forget when we're born, but certainly if you're a light being and you're looking around going, hang on a second, um, okay, how do I fit in here? Am I supposed to just conform? and or am I supposed to do something else but where are the leaders where are the people showing me how to live here as a light being so this is where we're at right now is the light beings who've forgotten and who are not doing the work need to see other light beings doing the work so they can go oh that's what it is I remember I know what I need to do now so what does it mean to be a light worker versus a light being a light worker means that you're actually working daily to clear your energy, to raise your vibration, to clear out the darker energies that surround us, especially if you're in a dense area like a city where the mass consciousness can be so heavy to break through. It's like a membrane having to break through that density every day. So you have to do the work. It doesn't happen for you. As a light being with what's going on on this planet right now, if you're not actually doing that work to clear yourself and it is work, then you'll automatically go back to sleep, fall back into that hole of I've forgotten or this is just how it's done here. But the light beings are here to remember and lead the way. But it's not enough to just be a light being. You must be a light worker. Light workers are also here anchoring the light in their bodies. It is not just enough, it's not enough now to just sit in meditation. That was old age of Piscean, uh, the way of life in Piscean age, where you actually got to go on a hero's journey and do that uh, inner work and come back to your community and share what you learned. Uh uh, the work has been done in tribes now, the work has been done in groups. So you need to anchor your light in groups when you're around other bodies so that you have that access to more light and it's faster this way it's faster when you work at the physical level hey Asaya hello who else is here say hello if you're here live I don't know who's here 
This is just impromptu. So as you're anchoring the light in your body, you actually allow that light to be more accessible to others. So it's easier for them to anchor the light. So that's why we do it in groups. And you also need to be communing with nature because this is where the source of light comes from on this earth, in this 3D reality. It comes from the earth. It comes from the body. So if you're not actually spending time in nature and being around that higher vibration, then again, it's harder to do the work. So there are many light workers out there doing the work who are going into denser energies and raising the vibration. And they are, they are paving the way for the light beings who haven't realized that they are being called to duty. The light beings of this planet are being called to duty. So we have been asleep. The, the, um, the indigo children, especially, that's my generation, the indigo children of the 80s, 70s and 80s. It's time to wake up and do what you came here to do. So if you are asleep, if you have been asleep, then it's going to become more and more uncomfortable if you stay that way, if you don't do the work, if you don't connect with other light beings who are here to support you in raising that vibration. You're here to, we're here to support each other. So we're strengthening the network of light beings on this planet right now, which means more connection with those light beings, more spending time with them in groups, less time spending on your own, that old Piscean way, throw it out. If that's your default pattern, then ask, how can I be more tribal in my approach to life? That's age of Aquarius. There are many belief systems that are dying off that are crumbling from the Piscean age. And the age of Aquarius is here to show us, to help us remember that change happens when we come together, we co-create in community. So, that's my challenge to you this week and today is what light beings can you reach out to in your world where you can actually talk about this stuff, not just hang out and catch up and shoot the breeze, actually go, what are you doing to anchor more light? Are you being called to action? What is your action? What is it that you're being called to do? So there is like a giant me universal megaphone right now calling the light beings to action. Wake up. Do what you came here to do. Remember who you are. Don't go back to sleep. Find your light beings. Find them. Connect with them. Be with them as much as you can in the flesh if possible. Connecting with light beings in other um, countries, overseas, online, that's cool too. That's all part of it. We are all connected through the ethers as well. But certainly it is extra powerful when you can do it in the flesh, in the body, working at that physical level. So when I ran the workshop, uh, the Creator Types in Action workshop yesterday in Brisbane, um, it was interesting because we were working at the physical level all day but there were times when we weren't moving. We were actually sitting in circle. Even though we were talking about the body and we're working with all the creative types and we're referring to nature and we had pieces of nature like sticks and stones and rocks and flowers in the center of our circle, despite all of that, when we stopped moving, the energy started to fall. So... And also we were inside when we were sitting in circle. When we were outside, in nature, feet on the earth, moving our bodies, the energy started to rise again. So there is really something in that. Because in the Piscean Age, it was all about listening to the guru and being all ears and, oh my God, you're so wise, I want to listen to you. And that's how so many industries and especially the spiritual industries work on this, have worked on this planet, is someone sprouting wisdom at the front of the room. And many people are still operating in this model and making money from it, mind you. But it is crumbling. It is outdated now. It is becoming very quickly outdated. 
So what we need more of right now is collective wisdom. As I said, groups coming together, people sharing their wisdom, multiple perspectives at once. Every, every creator has a perspective on life and that's why I love the creator types because you get to see through the eyes of a snow creator or a lava creator or a tree creator how they experience the world and the magic that they have to offer to the other creators. Like an ecosystem, everything has its place, its role. And when people deviate or if nature deviated, if this tree stopped being a tree, oh, I can't be bothered today, I'm not going to be a tree, I'm going to be a rock, or I'll just be nothing. So many people are operating this way. Oh, it doesn't matter, I just, I won't be anything. I won't be seen, I won't find my power, I won't create in the world, it doesn't really matter. There's a paradox. Nothing really matters and yet everything matters. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. <laughs> So hopefully this is planting some seeds for you. If this is speaking to you, awesome, because we all, especially the light beings, need to hear this message right now. If you are a light worker and you are doing the work, there is always more work to be done. There is always more. So I've just, <laughs> and don't I know it, because I feel like I've run so many events and that all of them has stretched me and pushed me beyond what I thought I was capable of. And some have left me exhausted and going, how am I going to keep going? But there is always more. Because each of those events, even though I'm moving beyond the resistance of my body, which is where the exhaustion comes in, I'm actually creating more light. I'm transforming the density in my body to raise its vibration, to create more light. So I have more light to play with. Every time I've run an event, I go, oh my God, I've got more light to play with. Cool, what can I create now? So it's not time to just disappear and have a holiday. It's time to go, well, what else can I create now? And how can I do it with others? So there's the underscoring message. Age of Aquarius, we've all got to learn what it, is, what it is we're here for and how we can do it together and who's in our tribe. Right now I have a list of names on my, on my wall of who's in my tribe, who's in my network. This is so powerful. This is where it's at right now. Your tribe is your currency. It's not money anymore. It's tribe. If you have money and no tribe, it's a hard road. It's going to be even harder as time rolls on. So this means investing in those people in your tribe, spending time with them. What can you give them? What can you share with them that they need right now and vice versa? This strengthens those connections. So... I'll leave on that note because tribe is all I really want to say here. <laughs> Started out talking about light beings and light workers. Well, yeah, that's great because the Piscean Age did teach us that. The Piscean Age did teach us spirituality. But how do we apply that now in action with others? Now that we've made that divine connection in ourselves, what do we do with it? So if you're listening, please chime in later on. Thank you for listening. And uh, we'll see what comes out next time I'm sitting in this beautiful place at the bottom of Mount Cooper in Brisbane, Australia. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>